Rainbow Dash. I simply don't understand why you can't just play the guitar you have. <gasps> now I understand. How about this one? No. Put it here. No. Super groovy. No, Pinky. Well, what you looking for? That's the problem. I need something that looks as awesome as I'm gonna make it sound. <gasps> Hands off my guitar, Trixie! I touched it first, Rainbow Dash. Sounds to me like this is a making for a nice, friendly competition. All right! Let's see who plays best. A shred off? Shred on! <laughs> the one that really speaks to me. The great and powerful Trixie always wins in the end. <laughs> I doubt it. $12,000? You'll pay for this rainbow dash! No, silly. If you want it, you'll have to pay for it. Thanks for coming, Rarity. The rescue center needs all the help it can get. Oh, but of course, darling. <laughs> Helping cute little puppies and kitties will never go out of style. Once a year, a lucky volunteer gets to clean the hamster habitat. I signed up for it months ago to be sure I'd get it. House cleaning! Ooh, that's not a shy darling. Aren't hamsters a... rodents? They sure are, but they're cute and cuddly like bunnies. Okay, every hamster, follow Rarity into the next room. She'll take good care of you while I give your home a nice scrub. Rarity, what happened? Paddington's coat just begged to be accessorized, but Amelia Furhart refused to be left out and got Curtis Paul Power to chew right through Carl's little scarf, and before I knew it, I had a habitat-wide feud on my hands. Also, I named them. Ladies and gentle hamsters, please! Now I know you're all upset, but why don't we head back into the habitat and talk it over? <laughs> <gasps> could be so touchy about fashion.
remember, the most important thing about sugar butter cocoa cookies is to fold your batter. Too much arm turning will make your cookies tougher than a lump of coal. Come on, Pinky. You're supposed to help me find a drummer for my band. I guess I can fold a little faster. Most people don't know how hard it is to find someone who can use both hands the way a drummer does. How's oh, that? Now, it's important that our banner look awesome. So, feel free to use as much glitter as you want. A drummer can't just be anybody. Oh, of course not. They need to have the right instincts, you know? Totally! have a sense for these things. Come on, Rarity. We simply must get this piano to band practice. What kind of person doesn't put a piano on wheels? Just look at me. I'm a mess. What I need is a bit more muscle. Oh, boys! I simply cannot thank you enough. And while I am a bit repulsed by your musky smell, I can appreciate that you are diamonds in the rock. probably just wants to make some sort of grand entrance. <laughs> Told you. Rarity, couldn't you have chosen a more portable instrument? Heavens no. The grand piano is the most refined and elegant of instruments. With it, I will be able to express my full musicality. Well, our time's up. I guess we'll have to move our practice to the gym. Guess you're gonna express your full musicality clear across campus. <laughs> Or you could play this. It's part guitar, part keyboard. It's a guitar key. You mean a guitar? Potato, tomato. Ooh, ooh. Oh my. Well then, how about you take that guitar and move your tail to our next rehearsal space? Fine, fine. I don't suppose. Okay, Granny, one more time. When you accidentally sold my bass at the garage sale, who did you sell it to? Yeah, I, I sold it to the owners of that new pawn shop. Uh, uh, flippity flabbity, something like that. Welcome to the grand opening of the Flim Flam Brothers Everything Under the Sun Emporium. If you want it, we've got it. Need a photo stick, a bowling ball, a stuff cloud. Whatever this is. I'd like that base. 
I can give you this space for a non-negotiable price of $1,000. Why, you only paid Granny Smith $2 for it. Yes, well, we have to cover our overhead and transportation costs. Listen, Granny never should have sold my base. I'll give you the $2 back and we'll call it even. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Likely story. It is. That's my base. And can you prove that this is in fact your base? Her initials are monogrammed right on the strap. That could mean anything. It could stand for... Aardvark Jr. Animal Jokers. Or Animal Jane. Why, I'll bet you don't even play the base, Applejack. If that is your real name. Of course that's her real name. And she does play the base! This is her base. But there are still the transportation costs and overhead. Don't forget the stacking fees. Wouldn't dream of it, brother. <sighs> then again, I suppose we could make some sort of trade. Come on down to the grand opening of the Flim Flam Brothers Everything Under the Sun Emporium. Since when do you play the bass?